Uh, welcome, everybody. We're pleased to be able to to get with you again. It's been a while since we've uh, we've kind of had a, a a communication and an opportunity to kind of hear some feedback from you all and to give you some updates of what's going on with our developer tools, specifically the Ada products, which we're going to talk about today. Sean. Sean will take you through um, some pretty cool things that are going on with the products and um, and then show you a little demo of, of some of the newest technology that we're working with. Um, what I just want to do to get us started today is to just orient you a little bit to PTC and what's going on with the company. Um, you know, as most of you know, we're a, a company based out of Boston and Seaport District. Um, but we've been around for 35 years and uh, a little more than 35 years. And you know, when you think about it, it's a $1.4 billion uh, uh, revenue company. Um, but you know, we have a market cap of $15.3 billion. I know it shows 10 there, and that's an outdated number. A $15.3 billion market cap. Um, you know, we've got over 30,000 customers, 6,400 employees. We have a huge partner um, network that works with us strategically. And, um, and frankly, the company has more and more of the leading industry products and solutions. Uh, you know, we talk about our roots coming from CAD and POM, IoT, AR. Um, you know, we have some of the best developer tools in the industry, and uh, and we have a really vibrant service solutions as well. And uh, so the company is doing really well, uh, very, very strong. Uh, you should feel good about doing business with PTC. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about the strength of this company. Um, we're here for the long haul and continue to get better and better. You know, again, this, these are some stock quotes from analysts from at the end of our last fiscal year. Now we're in our Q4 of this year. If you were to read those quotes today versus, you know, nine months ago when, when we put this on our corporate overview, you'd see even stronger comments. So the company continues to get stronger and stronger. Um, and as a result, one of the, uh, the, the outcomes is, uh, you know, being added to the S&P 500. So, um, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, we're on NASDAQ. We're part of the S&P 500. We continue to do really, really well from a financial standpoint. And it's not just about the finances. It's really important these days to be a really valued part of the community. And PTC has really stepped up its game. Um, I've been here in the company since 1998. And I'll tell you, from 1998 to this year is like night and day with regards to the corporate and uh, social responsibility from PTC standpoint. It truly is a much more diverse and inclusive company than it ever was in the past. It ever was in the past. And you can see here by all of the multiple recognitions that the company is accumulating now, and there are more that you're not even seeing here um, as a result of that commitment. Uh, so it's important uh, to us. It's important to, to most people in, in our community. And um, we continue to be really highly committed uh, to um, a really diverse and inclusive workforce, uh, as, as evidenced by our um, uh, bringing on a chief diversity inclusion officer um, uh, not too long ago. The other thing I wanted to kind of point out is, even though we're strong financially um, and we have a diverse uh, set of vertical markets, we're really dedicated to our defense business, our federal government business, aerospace, defense. And, um, and this is just an example of some of the um, you know, defense uh, organizations that we have you know, deep, long-term relationships with. Uh, these are really good value customers of ours, and we know that you know, a lot of them are, um, are good ADA uh, uh, development opportunities here. Uh, what I want to do is turn this over to Sean, and I wanted to introduce you to Sean in you know a couple of different ways. Uh, he's part of, as I am, the Focus Solutions Group. And basically about seven years ago, right around there, we created this group within PTC. As PTC continues to broaden all of these new exciting technologies, you know, IoT, augmented reality, uh, you know, all kinds of new types of technologies, 
to, to, to use in partnership with our core software product, it's important that we don't take our eye off the ball. In many companies, many technology companies have failed in doing that. You know, the, the, the new shiny tool comes up and, that, you know, everybody wants to play with the new toy and, uh, and everybody wants to develop the new technology. And so it's important, and PTC has done a really good job and we continue to do a really good job in staying focused on our core technologies because without the foundation, all the other stuff is not helpful. So we're committed to our, our ADA customer base we have dedicated, 100% dedicated resources uh, that Sean's team manages. We build the product. We support the product. We service the product. Um, we implement them. We upgrade them. Uh, we can provide training on them, all within our own business unit. Unlike other types of products or other types of technology companies, you don't have to go to a technical support organization and follow their path to get support. You don't have to go to a different organization to file an SPR or get something fixed. Uh, you don't have to go to another organization to request an enhancement to the product. In fact, our customers' requests are what drive our enhancements to the product. And so it gives us a chance to be really much closer to you all uh, in what's important to you to, to manage your business. Uh, the developer tools business unit is part of the Focus Solutions Group, and we have a, a you know a good series of, of tools. Uh, Sean is responsible for uh, the Ada products. He's also responsible for some Teleuse products, an X32 product, uh, Ada World. Uh, you know, there's a various amount of developer tools uh, that we manage in this business unit. Uh, there are some other ones such as Perk Real Time Java. Uh, and uh, MKS Toolkit, if you're involved in Unix to Windows environments. And um, in all of these, we stay focused within FSG. Uh, you know, we're really, really driving towards making sure that you have efficient development environments. Um, we want you to be able to speed up the construction of your native embedded and real-time mission-critical applications. And we have the people here to do that uh, for you and with you. Uh, so with that, I'm going to uh, turn it over to Sean. Uh, Sean's been here, uh, you know, a long time. He's been a, a long time, um, you know, ADA uh, technical expert. And um, I'll let Sean uh, take it from here. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Joe, so much for that uh, introduction. Um, I want to uh, start by, you know, giving some some insight into our ADA team here at PTC. Uh, the team is, of course, led by myself, uh, and uh, we, we do all of the Apex Ada and Object Ada uh, development and technical support. Um, the, uh, the team is, as Joe just said, uh, you know, an, integ uh, an integrated team of dedicated um, engineers uh, that, that perform all the uh, technical work and support uh, for these product lines. The uh, Ada products team includes several team members whose domain experience with Ada uh, spans a period of 25 years or more. Our team uh, includes subject matter experts in the compiler technologies and the Ada language. And the team members overall have extensive uh, experience in both native and embedded programming uh, using these Ada products and uh, the Ada language in general. So distributed across the landscape of three product family tech and ADA technologies, PTC offers a broad uh, ADA product portfolio. And the, uh, whereas, you know, the availability of specific host and target combinations varies depending upon the, the uh, product family. Uh, we provide native and embedded ADA compilers we provide uh, native compilers for all the popular um, operating systems and platforms, prim the primary ones being Windows, Linux, and Solaris. And those are the platforms that our embedded products are hosted upon in general as well. We have embedded cross compilers targeting uh, Intel, uh, x86 and 64-bit, 
ARM V8, 64-bit, PowerPC, MIPS, and even uh, 68K, uh, Motorola 68K processors for embedded target support. Our embedded products target uh, both bareboard ADA kernels from PTC, as well as uh, real-time operating systems from like uh, VXWorks from Wind River and Lynx OS from Lynx Software. PTC has continued to invest in its uh, ADA solutions and, uh, and add new uh, functionality. And these investments have been shaped by several industry trends. Um, the first of these would be extensions to support new operating system versions. We've uh, made additions to embedded target support and we've been adding uh, support for new editions of the ADA programming language. And the new product releases that we will be highlighting in the remainder of today's webinar um, basically is the tangible proof of these investments that, uh, that PTC has been making in, in our ADA products. We'll start the next segment of today's webinar looking at the Apex ADA products and the capabilities of new product releases. PTC Apex ADA is a family of native and embedded ADA development solutions that um, are called Apex ADA Developer and Apex ADA Embedded Developer. Apex ADA has its roots in the Rational Apex products produced by Rational Software and uh, is the successor to the IBM Rational Apex ADA Developer product line. PTC Apex ADA versions 4.2 and 4.4 are rebranded releases of the equivalent IBM Rational Apex developer uh, re releases, but they incorporate a uh, set of cumulative, cumulative set of maintenance updates that have occurred since the initial release of these versions. PTC continues to support uh, these versions of Apex ADA uh, and maintain these versions uh, as needed by our customers who uh, continue to use them in supporting long-term sustainment of software that was developed and initially qualified using these older versions. Apex ADA versions 5.0 and 5.2 are the current versions which provide support for the ADA 2005 language edition, as well as 64-bit co-generation for native and embedded applications. In addition to adding these features, PTC has added extended platform support in terms of supported host operating systems and embedded RTOS versions and new embedded target processor support. Current PTC Apex ADA products provide support for the ADA 95 and ADA 2005 language editions. Apex developer products provide native ADA compilers that are available on Solaris, um, Spark and Intel, as well as, as well as the Linux Intel platform. Apex ADA embedded developer products provide embedded ADA compilers that target real-time um, um, operating systems and uh, bare board runtime kernels. Compilers for the uh, Wind River VXWorks real-time operating system are available for Intel, PowerPC, and ARM V8 processors. Compilers for Lynx OS real-time operating system are available for the PowerPC processor families. Compilers for the Apex ADA exec bareboard runtime kernel are available for Intel and PowerPC and MIPS processors. And now also we have a, tar a compiler targeting embedded Linux on ARM V8 processors. Shown on the slide is the Apex ADA motif-based IDE, which provides integrated coding and debugging tools, facilities for creating software architectures that are called subsystems, configuration management support and uh, version control integration, as well as interfaces for supporting the setup of embedded target uh, boards. Apex ADA includes the following key capabilities. Tools that provide the full development lifecycle support that are accessed from one common IDE, and these include an integrated coding and debugging tools, a language-based editor and program browser, an incremental ADA 95, ADA 2005 compiler, a comprehensive integrated debugging facility, and as well, a mixed ADA C, C++ uh, development support within the product. 
Apex Ada also provides extensive software architectural control facilities for what are called subsystems that are used for developing and managing large scale applications. Apex Ada includes an integrated configuration management and version control, control facility called CMVC. Also included is a layered product called TestMate, which is a test management system for native and embedded products, providing the ability to do unit integration, system testing, and coverage analysis. Our most recent Apex Ada product releases have been additional version 5.2 embedded 64-bit uh, embedded compilers. Uh, these target uh, Intel 64-bit and ARM V8 processors. The first of these releases is the Linux cross Linux ARM V8 64-bit embedded product that we introduced uh, approximately a year ago. This was our initial product offering for ARM processors. Uh, we added uh, that cogeneration capability to Apex Ada. Uh, examples of embedded Linux distributions that can be used with uh, this product are OpenSUSE, Ubuntu Server, or any other Yocto project-derived embedded Linux distribution, such as Wind River Linux. Um, there are many of, of other examples that we could point to. The capabilities of these embedded Linux distributions combined with the availability of many low-cost embedded target boards for ARM V8 processors opens up a whole new landscape for embedded application development in Ada using the well-proven Apex Ada compiler technology. Recently, we have released new Apex Ada embedded products targeting Wind River VxWorks 7 releases, SR650 and SR660 on Intel 64-bit processors and most recently on ARM V8 processors. Support for VxWorks 7 on ARM processors is a brand new Apex Ada product offering. These new releases provide opportunity for customers to enjoy the benefits of these latest VxWorks 7 releases from Wind River. And now with our latest product release, deploy embedded applications on powerful as well as low cost ARM target boards. All of these products include the Apex Ada 64-bit native compiler as well as all the other standard Apex Ada features that I uh, described previously. Shown on this slide are examples of ARM-based target boards that can be used with the new Apex Ada ARM V8 embedded products. In general, there is a broad spectrum of ARM V8 target boards that you can choose from and use for embedded development with Apex Ada 5.2 embedded. The Raspberry Pi, Pi 3 Model B and the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B are examples of low-cost ARM V8 targets that are suitable for doing initial application software development using Apex Ada embedded, using a variety of different Linux distributions, as well as VxWorks. Uh, Wind River has open source BSPs available for, for VxWorks 7 uh, for both the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry Pi 4. At the other end of the spectrum, there are high performance ruggedized ARM V8 targets, such as the VPX1703 from Curtis Wright Defense Solutions, which can be used for aerospace and defense embedded deployments that require the uh, target hardware have such characteristics. In addition to the major new product releases that I've just described, we regularly post updates to the supported major versions of Apex Ada to provide both corrections to reported problems, as well as to provide uh, specific enhancements and uh, usability enhancements. Shown on this slide is a summary of updates that have occurred recently for Apex Ada versions 4.2 and 5.0 native products. Uh, this included enhancements and uh, uh, correction with respect to uh, red support for Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, 8.x. Uh, then we had in uh, August here, we had another round of updates for Apex Ada 5.2 native and embedded to provide the same corrections as above and also some uh, improvements to the recently released ARM V8 uh, uh, embedded products. Coming up, we have uh, planned uh, additional updates uh, occurring for Apex Ada 5.0 and 5.2 uh, embedded products uh, planned for September. 
released in September. And these are assorted corrections that uh, we've accumulated during the course of working on all these new uh, embedded products for Apex Ada. In the next segment of today's webinar, we'll be presenting a short demonstration of our latest Apex Ada embedded 5.2 Linux Cross VxWorks 7 ARM V8 product. Hi, my name is Sam Sharons. I work for PTC DevTools on the Apex Ada product line. Today I'm going to demonstrate our newest embedded product, Apex 5.2.2, for a 64-bit Linux Intel host targeting a 64-bit ARM processor uh, with VxWorks 7. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4B target board. The program I'm demonstrating is an open source ADA PDF writer. Apex has an architectural control mechanism called the subsystem, which allows you to group your project into related groups of units. Here I've set up three subsystems. Uh, one for the generic image decoder or GID subsystem. Uh, the PDF out subsystem is the PDF generator itself and another subsystem uh, for applications, uh, including the demo that we're gonna be running. In a typical development scenario, you might have multiple views for development, integration, testing, and release. Uh, here, there's just one view for each subsystem called VxWorks ARM demo. The ADA files are all checked into the Apex Configuration Management version control system. We can see the CM status of the files and any particular uh, directory viewer by selecting view format CM attributes. You can see the the data files here are uncontrolled and the and the ADA files are all under CM control. Let's build the demo. Uh, Apex doesn't require a project file or a make file for builds. I simply uh, select the main program here, PDF out demo .data and click the link button. Uh, a dialog will appear with options. I'm going to take the defaults and just click OK. And the progress of the build appears in a message window. Now, because we're running the application uh, from a different host than the one that booted VxWorks, we'll need to add our host to the host table and mount its file system so that uh, the, the PDF writer can record files and read files. So we're going to do a host add command. I'm just going to cut and paste these to make it go a little quicker. We had an oath to add our host to the host table and then an NFS mount command to get the file system mounted from the VxWorks target. Um, you also have to ensure that the directory and file permissions are set appropriately for the user ID that booted the target to uh, read and write files on the, on the host. To run or debug the program, Apex needs some information about the target. First, I'll open the tools targets dialog. And since the installation of Apex has never used this target before, I'll click on the new physical target button. In the dialog, I'm going to enter the target name Raspberry Pi 4B dot B underscore B and the node name, the network node name for the target, and we'll click OK. And now the target uh, 
physical target file has been created, this target file is shared among all users of this installation of Apex, so we don't have to create it once. Back in the target dialog now, I can find the new target in the list, and then we click the map button to map it to the logical target name for this Apex context. Um, we're going to take the default. There's no log additional values required for VxWorks target, so it's going to click OK. And now, uh, once that mapping is completed, the values are saved for this user ID, and I won't need to enter this target information again unless I want to change targets. So now let's run the program. We'll select the the executable program and do file run. Uh, once again, there's numerous options available, but I'll take the default, which sends the output, the screen output to an Xterm window. As you can see, we got a storage error exception here. And in order to track that down, we're going to do file debug. Again, take the defaults. And once the debugger has started, has loaded the program down to the target, we can select debug catch and ask it to catch storage error. Click continue and the program will stop where the storage error occurred, was raised. Now we can see the call stack uh, that brought us to this point with Windows stack. Here on line 110, uh, we can click buffer size and then right click show and it's, you can see that the program is allocating a buffer of about a million bytes, 100,000 hexadecimal. And the default stack size can be seen or configured in the user comp.ss predefined subsystem in the file v underscore dot user dot comp, which I have right here. And you can see the default main task stack size is 20,000 hex, which is only about an eighth of what the size we need for this program. So now I've exited the debugger and I'm going to modify the main program to select this uh, stack size big enough to accommodate that big buffer. So I can check the, check the file out and you can see it shows us checked out and version has been uh, bumped to version two. I can open the file in the editor and at the end I'm going to put a um, pragma main to make the stack size twice as that big buffer. Save that, I can do compile link to relink the program. And after relinking and rerunning the program, we can see the Apex uh, execute has finished normally. And the files, big PDF and small PDF have been created. We can open a browser and take a look at that big PDF file. And you see this is the demo file showing all the different things that this PDF writer can do. So thanks for watching. So uh, in our next segment, we'll be looking at the object data family of, of Ada products and the capabilities of recent and upcoming releases. 
The object data product family originated with the company called Aonix, which later became Atego. PTC acquired Atego in 2014 and has continued the advancement of the object data compiler technology. Object data versions 10.x products are available for both Windows and for Linux. These products support the ADA 95, 2005, and 2012 language editions. They're all available in either a 32-bit compiler or a 64-bit edition of the compiler. And uh, we also have object data embedded products uh, that are called object data real-time and object data real-time Raven. The object data embedded products support ADA 95 and are 32-bit compilers. Object data for Windows is the native compiler product supporting all currently supported versions of the Windows operating system. This product has long been a popular product for the development of ADA applications that run on Windows, as well as for the development of embedded ADA packages that will ultimately be used in embedded applications as well. The product uh, provides both ADA 95, 2005, and 2012 language support available in 32-bit and 64-bit editions. It uh, integrates with the Visual Studio build tools and the Windows 10 SDK from Microsoft. And there's a configuration utility that we provide that associates um, the instances of those two components that you're going to use with object data. Uh, we provide an installer for uh, Visual Studio build tools from version 2017 and a particular Windows 10 SDK uh, version. However, you are able to use um, all the releases of Visual Studio 2017 or 2019, and even the most recent Windows 10 SDK with object data for Windows. We provide both a Windows native IDE, which is shown uh, in the picture here, as well as an Eclipse-based IDE for object data for Windows. Uh, shown on the slide is an example of an application being debugged using the object data debugger within the uh, Windows native IDE. Object data for Windows has a very fast optimizing ADA compiler and a, a corresponding uh, debugger. Provides mixed ADA, C and C++ language support, as well as provides ADA bindings to Windows APIs. Object data for Linux is uh, very similar to object data for Windows and it provides, it's an equivalent compiler um, providing um, the same language edition support available in 32-bit and 64-bit. And uh, it also provides an Eclipse-based IDE that uh, is compatible with the latest versions of the Eclipse uh, ID, uh, IDE from eclipse.org. Same lightning fast optimizing compiler using a very uh, open and fast library model for program libraries has the object data, ADA debugger, and equivalent uh, ADA C++ C++ mixed language support. Object data for Linux provides an ADA binding to POSIX APIs. I touched briefly before on object data embedded products. These are called again called object data real-time and object data real-time Raven. Object data real-time is available for Wind, Wind Rivers VX Works uh, 6.x and the Lynx OS operating system, real time operating system from Lynx Software. Object Data Real Time Raven is a cross development product that uh, supports the uh, Raven Scar profile subset of ADA 95 that's uh, intended for deterministic uh, execution on uh, bare, bare targets or on VX Works 653. We've just completed uh, work and release of object data 10.3. The, uh, this release uh, just occurred a couple of days ago for object data for Windows version 10.3. Uh, and we have plans to have object data for Linux version 10.3 available at the beginning of October. Included in version 10.3 is for the first time a complete implementation of the ADA 2012 Annex G, or otherwise known as the Numerics Annex to ADA. Uh, this is a, a, an annex of the ADA language that um, is, is uh, 
optional in the sense that it's a specialized needs annex, but we've had customer requests for Objicata to support this. And so we're proud now to be able to say that we have this in Objicata 10.3. We've also uh, been working really hard on ADA 2012 language support refinements, uh, implementing corrections to the implementation, as well as uh, making the implementation be conforming to the uh, newer uh, ACATS test suite for ADA 2012, known as uh, version 4.1v. We've also been uh, incorporating corrections to reported problems against the previous version, version 10.2. And we have um, some usability enhancements in, the, in this new uh, set of releases for object data. For example, uh, we have uh, this uh, object data command prompt uh, capability now in object data for Windows. This is an example of a usability enhancement that we added. It's a very simple facility but that starts a command prompt window with the environment automatically set up for you to, to reference the uh, Visual Studio uh, build tools or the full Visual Studio environment if you're using a, like the professional edition of Visual Studio, uh, as well as the Windows 10 SDK. And so it's very handy to, to have this uh, new facility for setting up a command prompt with the environment set up to reference not only those components, but object data as well. And shown in this example is actually a, a command prompt initiated from the object data IDE, such that the current working directory is automatically set to the directory for the current target of the current project in object data, which is where you'd wanna be if you were going to kick off a debugging session for uh, the application using uh, visuals, the Visual Studio debugger, say if you were debugging a mixed language application. I'd like to switch now in this segment to talk about our ADA product support. Uh, PTC uh, offers world-class support services for the ADA products. The benefits of PTC's support includes access to product updates, knowledge base articles, assistance with the product usage and uh, you know, diagnosis of problems, as well as help with the ADA programming language. And the message here is really that, you know, when you have support from PTC for one of our ADA products, you have direct access to the PTC ADA team that we talked about earlier and all of their expertise. To illustrate um, using uh, the, some of the resources on the uh, support portal, uh, here we illustrate uh, that you know, we have support knowledge base articles available to you that you can search that, have, uh, that supplement the product documentation with solutions to issues that have been, counted, been encountered previously by other customers and uh, have been written up as uh, support articles. So this is a very valuable uh, resource to have access to. Uh, another example is the product documentation is online on the e-support portal. You can re research all the release notes for all the updates to the products um, showing here object data, but the same is available for Apex Ada as well. Next, we'd like to, um, to recount some recent real world customer support success stories, which illustrate the value of uh, having access to support with our Ada products. One example is the, what, what I'm calling here, the Apex Ada tools find enhancement. This is a case where you know, the customer had the need for some help with using a facility in Apex Ada to find files and produce reports for their um, configuration management and tool qualification reporting. Uh, basically, the reports needed to be to do queries of their uh, their uh, CMVC database and and produce a listing of files with uh, certain specific attributes um, that uh, are available in that, uh, in that system. And this led to actually a, a bug fix uh, to a, a seldomly used, but very valuable capability uh, of this particular feature of the Apex environment. And um, a request for enhancement was also filed on behalf of this customer to the R&D group uh, to, you know, basically after developing a refined understanding of what the, uh, customer wanted to do, uh, we were able to identify opportunity for enhancing this capability. 
And uh, we're happy to say that in this case, we, we were able to turn around a rapid implementation of that enhancement, but not only in the current releases of Apex, but also in the legacy versions of Apex that are utilized by this customer and other customers uh, who are supporting, uh, again, systems that have been deployed and are, and are, and are still being maintained by them uh, using all the versions of Apex Ada. With object data, we have a, an example of a pragma inline enhancement. Customer need in this circumstance was that uh, they wanted to inline calls to subprograms that had uh, access parameters to tag, what are called tagged and class-wide types. And uh, at the time, the object data implementation was ignoring that uh, inlining pragma, if you will. Um, and you know, it's allowed for an, an ADA compiler to ignore uh, inlining if it can't uh, handle it. But uh, in this case, uh, the customer need was uh, important. And uh, we did file an enhancement request on behalf of the customer. And uh, it was a non-trivial task to implement, but uh, the enhancement was delivered to the customer in the form of one of our product updates to object data. So again, these are the examples of uh, all the good benefits that, that can occur by working with our support team. With this, I'd like to hand over to uh, back to Matt, uh, who is gonna take you through uh, resources we have available on the website for our ADA products and talk about uh, the events that we do. Thank you, Sean. I'll get started talking about the website resources and events we have. Uh, first, there is a wealth of information on our Apex Ada and Object Ada products, as well as additional products from our Developer Tools business unit accessible from the Developer Tools page on the PTC website. It's organized by product family. Our available, our available information includes product data sheets, recent new product release announcements, interactive demos, information request forms, recorded webinars, as well as information about upcoming events and tons of other useful information you can find there. We also invite you to review the new detailed product release brief documents on our Apex Ada and Object Ada product pages for additional information on the most recent product releases that introduce the new Ada 2012 language support on Windows and Linux, as well as the new Apex Ada embedded products targeting Linux and VX works on the ARM VA processors. Our new product overview and demonstration videos provide additional information and insights into the Apex Ada and Object Ada products using a modular format where you can select the topics to be viewed based on your own interests and requirements. These videos also provide a means to submit a request to be contacted by a PTC product specialist. You can easily share the links to these videos with other people who you feel would benefit from viewing the information. The Ada Development Solutions Product Portfolio, Portfolio Overview Demo provides an overview of the Ada products, key features of Apex Ada and Object Ada, and provides guidance for product selection and why you should select PTC as your Ada development solution provider. The Object Ada 10.2 for Windows product demonstration demo provides a comprehensive demonstration of the capabilities of the current Object Ada for Windows product, showing its integration with the Microsoft development tools for Windows and the operation of the Object Ada in Windows Eclipse-based IDEs. The Ada Europe Conference is an event which PTC participates in every year as a sponsor of the Ada Europe organization. The event is an opportunity to interact with the PTC Ada development and support team and be updated on the latest product releases. Details on the event venue and dates will be announced in early 2022. 